Last night was really uneventful, except for my overwhelming worry for Darius. I woke up to see that I had not realised that something had smashed my computer screen and prevented me from using it. I saw that my door was unlocked, and I was worried that another breach had happened. But as I stepped out of my cell, I was greeted by a burly man who seemed completely different from everyone else around here. He didn't follow whatever dress code everyone else followed. He wore a brightly coloured shirt with flowers on it, as well as black shorts. He had blonde hair and had started growing a beard. His eyes were a light brown, and he was about six feet tall. I looked around to see that there were guards around us. I stared at the man in confusion, when he finally decided to speak up. Hello there, Travis. I am the facility director, Eddie Corville. I'm sure you have many questions, but we must discuss the recent events first, he told me. He led me through a bunch of hallways until I saw a door labelled Director's Office. We went inside his office and he sat down at his desk with a large chair with red cushioning. I sat down across from him, in a chair of similar fashion, but it resembled a stool more than a chair. So, what do you want? I asked cautiously. Well, first off, I'm impressed with how you were able to survive such an event, especially since the cuspid was hunting you down. What's a cuspid? I asked. Well, it means tooth, that monster that breached its containment. It chased you down and almost killed you. I cut him off. No, it didn't almost kill me. I would have died if Darius wasn't there to save me. Your security sucks, I said angrily. Who is... Darius? He asked with a quizzical expression. The bear thing! His name is Darius! I shouted. So it decided a name for itself. That is pretty humorous, but we aren't here to talk about. What happened to him? I asked, seething in rage. He is currently being patched up. He will be back in containment soon, he stated, clearly shocked at my outburst. You've been promoted to work as a security guard. You start today, Eddie said. Don't I need training or something? I asked. Well, between you and me, not many breaches happen here, excluding yesterday. You just need to look authentic, like someone of authority and power. It's mostly guarding a door all day, he finished. I was appalled at how this guy was even the director here. He acted as if he were housing puppies, not dangerous monsters who would kill us without a second thought. Well, not all of them, but you know what I mean. I did do some quick training despite Eddie saying it was mostly looks. I learned how to load a rifle, hold a rifle, and shoot it with a bare minimum training of less than an hour. I wore some military grade armour and was sent to a door with a label on it saying Room 126. I should probably explain this to you all, but basically, rooms with 1 to 500 as a number are rooms with cryptids inside that are being contained. Rooms with names like Insert Name or Job Office are for people who work here. Then you have rooms labelled 500 to 1000, which are rooms that people live in. I just wanted to clear that up for anyone who wanted to know this. I put my hands in my pockets to realise that someone had given me a piece of paper with rules on it. Rule number one, don't mess with any wires labelled HWX. Rule number two, do not test on unauthorised patients. Rule number three, alert anyone nearby of a breach if one happens. Rule number four, you are not allowed to interact with patients unless authorised. Rule number five, do not break the dress code. Rule number six, if anyone is caught breaking the rules, alert the director. Rule number seven. Guards must always have a weapon on hand, as well as body armour. Rule number eight. You are not to take any pictures or videos of anything here, nor are you allowed to tell anyone where the facility is, or leak any information to the public. Rule number nine. Alert a guard of any suspicious activity going on nearby. Rule number ten. Terminate any trespassers if you are able to. If not, tell someone who is able to. The rules were confusing and hard to simplify for you all to understand easily, but I did my best. I'm pretty sure I've already broken Rule 8 and Rule 4, but as long as nobody knows about me breaking Rule 8, I think I'm in the clear since I already talked to the director about Darius. I'm pretty sure patient is referring to cryptids. It makes me sick that people are trying to sugarcoat this. I guarded the door for about six hours since it was already noon when I was sent off to work. It was really boring and nothing happened. 
it's a good thing because I don't have to deal with the stress, but I think I'll go stir crazy if I can't find a way to entertain myself. I was able to talk to some of the guards. Bryson, Riley and Chris were the only ones that actually talked to me when I tried starting a conversation, but it went really badly. I said hi to Riley and she immediately looked at me as if I insulted her somehow. She told me to go away and I obliged, not wanting to annoy her. I then tried talking to some guy called Chris. He took one look at me and started insulting me faster than I could process what was even happening. He was pretty old and barraged me with stuff like, Oh, I see the facility is now hiring moody teenagers, huh? And you don't know what it means to be here, kid. I wanted to give that guy a piece of my mind, but I decided it would be better to escape the situation. I immediately ran away from him to reach my cell when I bumped into Bryson. He looked a bit confused, but then started talking to me. Are you the new guy? He asked. I yeah, uh, sorry for bumping into you, I said, bracing myself for him to start getting mad or insult me. But surprisingly, he also looked to be in a rush. It's fine. I gotta get going, though. Wanna talk again tomorrow? He asked in a cheery tone. Um, yeah, sure, I responded, relieved. We parted ways, and I made my way to my cell. I guess I should start calling it my room, since I'm not restricted to it anymore. I tried to go to sleep, but I wanted to see if Darius was okay. I left my room and went to find the room that Darius was supposed to be in. I entered a room to find a bunch of floating orbs. I immediately couldn't take my eyes off them. They looked so majestic. I started hearing whispers as I walked closer to them, telling me to let them free, and I would see my father again. I knew this was wrong, but I still tried. I went to a control panel and went to let them out when I broke eye contact and immediately jumped back and closed my eyes. They kept whispering, but it seemed more evil now, telling me to open my eyes for just a second and see how beautiful they are. I was able to get out of the room and immediately collapse from the sheer mental power it took to not gaze upon them again. I continued walking through the corridors until I saw a familiar door number. I went inside and immediately rushed out when I saw what was inside. It was a cuspid that breached containment to attack me. It didn't see me and I was able to leave without any problem. I was about to give up when I saw another familiar door and walked inside. The room was empty, but I saw the claw marks and the cracks in the floor. I looked at the door frame to see small cracks in the wall. The maintenance workers didn't clean up the room yet, but I guess it was enough that everything else looked normal. I walked back to the area where my room was to see night guards stationed nearby. I was able to sneak back into my room and noticed, but I need to be more careful. The following days were more or less the same. I was stationed at a door all day, but was not able to check on Darius's room. There were guards stationed at my door, probably because someone saw me on the security footage as I was giving a note telling me not to sneak out again. Tomorrow, I'm hoping to go to the medical bay to check on Darius. Bryson told me where it was, so I have high hopes of seeing my friend. Sorry I didn't post sooner. I am usually exhausted when I finally get to my room after guarding the door all day, and I recently had enough energy to post. I'll keep in touch and update you all when I can.